Welcome to Island Baptist Church. Today's sermon is Daniel, the habit of prayer. All right, kids. Where's my kids? Come on down right down here on the ground. Right down here. Even if you've never been here before, this is where kids hang out. Where's your brother? Is he a scaredy cat? Come on, kids. Anybody else coming? Even a scaredy cat? She's got a cat shirt on. You see, Pastor Bill has blue socks. You notice they don't match anything he's got on. It's because he got dressed in the dark. Don't do that. There he is. Do y'all know how a knock-knock joke works? Yeah. I say knock-knock and you say what? Who's there? Who's there? Okay, I'm going to do a couple of knock-knock jokes for you. Ready? Knock-knock. Who's there? Tank. Tank who? You're welcome. <laughs> oh, knock-knock. Who's there? Canoe. Canoe who? Canoe come out and play. Knock-knock. <laughs> Who's there? Boo. Boo who? Don't cry, sweetie. Knock, knock. Who's there? Orange. Orange. Uh. Orange, you glad that this is the last knock, knock joke? No, I'm not. Uh-huh. No, I'm not. I want to talk to you about a different, it's not a joke, but a different knock, knock that Jesus talked about. He told a story. He's teaching his disciples about how important it is that we be persistent in prayer. What does that mean, persistent? It means we keep praying, and we keep praying, we keep asking, we keep asking, we keep going to God and going to God. God wants you to keep asking him. It's not because he forgets, but because he wants you to be in the place of prayer because that is such an important place for you. God doesn't forget, and God doesn't always do what we ask him to do. You understand that. He doesn't work for you. You work for him, right? So the prayer is not about changing God's mind. Prayer is about changing your mind. Nonetheless, he says, I want you to keep asking. Here's the illustration that he gave. He says, there was a man who, in the middle of the night, had some friends came to visit, like in the middle of the night. So he goes to his neighbors because he doesn't have food. He knocks on the door of the neighbor and he says, can I please borrow some food? My friend has come in from out of town. I have no food to give him. Well, the people in the house said, we're already asleep and we have no food. We don't have... It says that even though his neighbor will not give him food because he's his friend and his neighbor, he will give him food because he keeps knocking. He says, how much more do you think your father in heaven will give you what you ask of him. Your neighbor may not care in the middle of the night, but God doesn't sleep, and God is very interested in you. In fact, he goes on to say this. He says, ask, and you will receive, talking about prayer. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be open to you. Because whoever asks, receives. He who seeks, finds. And whoever knocks, the door will be open. Because God loves to speak to us. God loves to answer prayer. We're going to be talking this morning in the sermon about prayer and about how important it is and how it changes your life. It'll change you into the person that you want to be because it'll change you into the person that God wants you to be. So let's pray right now and ask God to help us to remember to pray. God, I thank you that you do open the door to us as we knock. As we seek, we will find. As we ask, we will receive. Thank you, God, for being a God who cares who doesn't sleep, who's not bothered by us when we come to you, who's not bothered when we keep asking because, because you know, God, that as we ask, that process is a process that changes us and we so desperately need to be changed. God, I pray that we would submit ourselves to the process of prayer and the effect that it has upon us and upon our world, God, and we just want to take this opportunity right now to pray for our time together as a church as we come together whether we come together for the right motives or the wrong motives, God, either way, we're asking that you would be present here powerfully through your Son, through the presence of your Holy Spirit, through the work, God, that you want to do in our lives, God. We open ourselves up to you. We ask, God, that you would have your will in your way as we worship, as we pray, as we sing, as we give, as we learn. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Thanks for visiting. Contact us at 956-761-5029 or on the web at www.islandbaptist.org.